Yeah, you know what I think is going to happen in this year? Uh, playoffs? What's going to happen in this year's playoffs? Well, the Cardinals are going to make it in with one loss. The Cardinals are going to make it in just barely. Six seed. They're going to end up playing each other. Wow, okay. Can I shoot my video? Mm -hmm. All right, great. I'll try to be quiet. Thank you. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to introduce the methods for proving triangle similar. Now, recall that we knew that triangles are similar, or if triangles were similar, that all the corresponding angles would be congruent, and the ratio of the corresponding sides would also be the same. So you can have larger triangles and smaller triangles, and that's what similar figures are. And like congruent triangles, we don't need all six properties to prove triangles similar. We're only going to need select things. And the first one we're going to cover is that if three angles of one triangle are congruent to three corresponding angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. And this is the angle, angle, angle similarity postulate. So if I have two triangles, A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime, here you can see A corresponds to A prime, those are congruent, and the Bs are congruent, and so are the Cs, and those two triangles would be considered similar by angle, angle, angle. However, in previous chapter, we studied that if you had two pair of corresponding angles congruent between two triangles, then the third pair was automatically congruent. So why would you need to get all three if after two, the third are automatically congruent by no choice? So in reality, in order to prove triangle, triangle similar, we really only need two pair of corresponding angles congruent because we know by no choice the third pair is going to be congruent. So really, we only need angle-angle similarity. So you probably will never really use angle-angle-angle because once you get to two angles, then you're really going to be done. So these two triangles here would be similar by angle-angle similarity. And then there are two more ways to prove triangles similar. The first one, kind of like congruent triangles, but now similar, is side, side, side. If we can get the ratio of the corresponding sides to all be the same, then the triangles would be similar by side, side, side. So here we're given that AB is to DE as BC is to EF, as AC is to DF. So if I put numbers in here, we've got, you know, 12 is to 9, as 8 is to 6, as 16, oops, try that again. BC is to EF, so that would be as 16 is to 12, and then finally as AC, as 8 is to 6. But regardless, all those reduce to 4 over 3. So the ratio of the corresponding sides are all the same. They're all in the ratio of 4 to 3, so that those two triangles are similar by side, side, side. And the final one is side, angle side. I'm going to use some of the same numbers here, but triangle PQR is going to be similar to triangle XYZ by side, angle, side. The ratio of PQ to XY, 12 is to 9, 
is going to be the same as 8 is to 6, then we have an included angle. The angle comes between the two sides. The ratio of that is, are the same as 4 to 3, and then we have an angle in between, just like congruency. So we have side angle side similarity. So there are the three ways to prove triangles similar. There's four, but really you're only going to use three. Okay? We have angle angle, side side side, and side angle side. Let's move on and do a sample proof and prove these triangles similar. We want to prove triangle NWO, triangle on top, is similar to this triangle on the bottom, SWT. We'll have to watch our correspondence here. So we're given that NPRV is a parallelogram. And we don't have measures or lengths of any sides, but we only really need angles here. And hopefully we can see right off the bat the vertical angles. We should watch our correspondence here. Okay, I'm going to say angle NWO is congruent to angle SWT. And that's because vertical angles are congruent. Now we're given that this is a parallelogram, and since parallelogram would tell us that those two sides are parallel. And that's going to help us because we've got some transversals here. We've got NS could be a transversal, and TO is also a transversal. We're only going to need one of those. It's just a matter of choose which one you want to work with. But first of all, let's go ahead and get our parallel lines. So we're going to say NO is parallel to TS because a parallelogram implies opposite sides parallel. And now we're well on our way. Since these two lines are parallel, could we say that angle NOW is congruent to angle STW? Well, we could because these are alternate interior angles. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Angle NOW is congruent to angle STW because parallel lines imply alternate interior angles. Congruent. And so then, now we know the triangle NWO is similar to triangle SWT by angle angle similarity and we only used those two steps, steps two and four. Here's step two is one of the angles and step four is the other and we're done. We have proved those two triangles similar by angle angle. Now, we could have also done the other side. We could have done, you know, this angle congruent to that other one, O, P, O, N, W. But we didn't need to do that. We didn't need the third angle. But any two of these three would have done the job and gotten us angle, angle, and that would prove the triangle similar. And we'll get a little more practice with proving triangles similar when I see you in class.